In the year 1217, in a world much different to ours, a German monk gazed up at the starry southwest sky. What he witnessed that night would become the stuff of legends. A faint star, normally quiet and unremarkable, suddenly blazed with an intensity that defied explanation. This celestial marvel continued to shine with a quote-unquote brilliant light for several days. The monk who made this discovery was Abbot Burchard. He meticulously recorded this extraordinary sight in the year's chronicle. A wonderful sign was seen, he wrote, capturing the awe and wonder of the moment. The mysterious object was located in the constellation Corona Borealis and shone brightly for quote-unquote many days. Little did they know that this medieval manuscript might hold the earliest record of a rare space phenomenon known as a recurrent nova. A recurrent nova where a dead star siphons matter from a larger companion, triggering periodic bursts of intense light. Recent research suggests that the so-called wonderful star Abbot Burchard witnessed might have been TCRB, a star nested in the constellation Corona Borealis. TCRB is known to dramatically increase in brightness for about a week every 80 years. However, scientific documentation of these events are rare, occurring only in 1866 and 1946. Abbot Burchard's record, along with another chronicle from 1787, may be the earliest known sightings of the TCRB Nova. But how can we be sure that these historical accounts indeed point to TCRB and not some other celestial phenomenon? First, let's rule out the possibility of a supernova. These massive star explosions leave behind visible remnants that last for centuries. The Crab Nebula, a remnant of a thousand year old supernova, is a testament to the fact. Yet, no such remnants have been found in the Corona Borealis star formation. Similarly, a bright planet can't be the culprit, as no planets visible to the naked eye roamed that region of the night sky. So what about a comet? Well, there was indeed a comet visible earlier that year, but comets were known and often considered omens of doom. So it's highly unlikely that Abbot Burchard would have described the comet as wonderful or overlooked mentioning its distinctive tale. In 1787, English revered astronomer Francis Wollaston recorded a star exhibiting nova-like behaviour. Wollaston's account closely matches the position of TCRB in the night sky. Although he identified the star using a different name, modern research suggests that it was indeed TCRB. As we eagerly await the next anticipated flare-up of TCRB in late 2024, scientists will add it to the centuries-long list of past records. In the meantime, researchers will continue to delve into the old archives studying TCRB's recorded history. This ongoing effort holds the promise of unlocking the secrets of this fascinating celestial phenomenon. Our quest to understand the universe's wonders is a journey that spans centuries, fueled by the curiosity and determinations of individuals like Abbot Burchard and Francis Wollaston. And as we look up into the night sky, we continue to marvel at the mysteries it holds.